Besides, Ken Amaro was at the Metro Diner in Orange Park today listening to your concerns. And some folks told Ken about problems with the Department of Children's Services. Others complained about city services. But Ken also had a visit from a Fleming Island resident who was the focus of a documentary back in 2010. And that lady has a fascinating story, Ken. Uh, that's correct, Jeannie. It was a change from the complaint. She came with compliments and a story she wanted to share. Lillian Kernan Brown wanted to share her autobiography. Apparently decades ago, she was banned in Boston when her variety show crossed the line. Her life and the people she met on her journey are revealed in the 286 pages of this book. <laughs> Have a seat. Anyway, what brings you in? What's on your mind? It was another I'm telling Ken session and they all had something to say. I've said I'm gonna call Ken. Sandy Banning complained about City Hall. It really concerns me with the mosquito problem that we have already. Sabrina Head is upset with DCF. The case plan was never offered. Two of the stories that On Your Side will investigate in the days ahead. I'm just glad to get to talk to you. Meet Lillian Brown. She stopped by to say hello and share her story. I'm very upset because nobody has been able to tell the true story of burlesque. Now 85, seven decades ago, Brown was a burlesque dancer in the New England area. Everybody thinks, you know, it was dirty. But burlesque was clean. It was so clean. She says it was a clean and comedic act on stage. In 1947, she joined the chorus line. I worked with Robert Goulet. And would eventually move to the front line. This is Brown in her heyday. I got to tell the true story of burlesque because nobody, nobody knows it. She says she worked the stage for a decade, rubbing shoulders with the famous like Abbott and Costello and boxing great Rocky Marciano. Says although the book reads like fiction, it is a true story. Yeah. Brown says she was banned after a wardrobe malfunction. Because <laughs> that's what happened to me. A few years ago, the Fleming Island grandmother decided to tell it all in her self-published memoirs. What is the point you want to get across? That burlesque was not a dirty thing. That's her message. It's not a dirty thing. In 2009, Cambridge Mass, her hometown, declared April 10th to be Lily Ann Rose Day. That's her stage name. She told us that was the day she was banned after her wardrobe malfunction. Back to you.